at the Feller family farm. Come along and ride with us through this life journey we go through at the Feller family farm. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Feller Family Farm. We're already in the doling pen, so this is the future of my goat herd right here. All these goats are 50% Kiko, because they, they were either offspring of Chip or Megatron, which are registered goats. But these mamas that had these little dolings were not registered. So this is the future, and it just gets better from here. So next year, when I breed these eight girls, all the offspring of these eight girls right here, all the female offspring will be 75% Kiko. And that's called a, a percentage Kiko program. So this really is the future of our herd. Of course, Chip and Megatron's the actual future, but it all starts with these little dolings right here that are 50% already. Mm -hmm. So I really think these eight little girls right here look really good. They're all very healthy. I don't have a sick one in the bunch, which is always good. Like out of all these mamas over here, I have, I have this little white and brown one right here. That one there, I, I doctored on our last video, or maybe it was the video before that. So she's kind of sickly and she is part Kiko for sure but she's not a percentage Kiko. So the eight girls I have right here are all offspring of Chip or Megatron. It's probably gonna be easier for me to explain to you which ones are Megatrons versus which ones are Chips. So this little black and white one right here, that's Coconut, that's Megatron's girl. And then this brown one right here, right next to Coconut, and this white one right here. That's Sugar and Nutmeg. That's Cinnamon's babies, and that's also Megatron's babies. And the other five girls are Chips. Like, that's Chips. That brown right there is Chips. Starlight is Chips. Uh, this little brown one. No, I'm sorry. That little tan one's Chips. That brown one's Chips. And then Trixie right there is Chips. The little black and white one there. So when you have your own goat farm, one of the things that you always continue to do is improve your, your herd. You, you want to improve your goat herd. And by bringing in two registered uh, bucks, Chip and Megatron, I think Chip's interested in the little sick one right now. Right there. So there's Chip, and he's after, golly, I can't point that one, the little sick one from last video. So, one thing you always want to do is continue to develop your herd, improve your herd. Um, you just want to make it better. Uh, it's just good practice. Um, and you'll learn from your own farm, your own property, what works best for your property um, and what you need to improve on for your property. I can tell right here that with eight dolings, eight offspring girls, I'm probably going to have to make this little area that I have them that I've weaned them in, I'm probably gonna have to make this little area about 50% bigger. There's, they still have plenty of grass to eat, but they're gonna have to stay over here another two months. And by the end of that two months, I expect that this is gonna be eaten down fairly well. So I think next year, I'm going to increase this size by 50%. So I think this is roughly three quarters of an acre that I have right here. I'm gonna do at least an acre of this three acre lot over here. 
so getting back to improving our goat herd that was my whole uh, goal of buying chip megatron i really just wanted to improve the herd that i had out here and develop my own herd i didn't want to have to go out and buy a thousand dollar registered goats two or three of them every year this way that i'm doing is way slower because these these eight kikos right here are only percentage kikos they can't be registered as as purebreds or new zealands or anything like that they can be registered as 50 percent kikos and that's a that's a percentage program and there are people who will look for just 50 percent kikos just so they can have like a mama that's 50 percent kiko but it's going to carry some embryos from another doe so when these babies get pregnant next year and their offspring only the females will be able to be registered as 75 percent so since these dolings are 50 percent and let's say chip here is 100 percent 50 and 100 is 150 divide that into two different goats the dad and the mom that leaves you with 75 percent so the offspring will be 75 percent kiko but you can only register percentage kikos as girls you can only register the girls as percentage kikos so the boys they won't be considered percentage kikos the only time you can get your boy to be considered a percentage kiko he'll be considered 100 percent when these dolings are 94 percent so when i get a doling that's 94 percent kiko and she has a boy you'll be able to register that buckling as a purebred kiko and that's one of my goals i want to i want to raise purebred bucklings down the road and i probably will buy a couple of new zealand's 100 percent new, new zealand registered goats that way new zealand buck here chip he's new zealand and then my new zealand does that i buy in the future will be new zealand offspring the bucks and the does it's kind of a hard program to understand if you don't follow the kiko goat world very well or if you don't keep up with it but once you get it figured out it's pretty simple but uh josh over there at bodark kiko goats he explained it to me and he had to explain it to me a couple of different times when i first met him for me to understand the program but that's how i got started was just watching josh watching his program watching year after year his buckling started looking very good and i was like that's what i want to do i want to improve my herd so if you guys don't know who josh is uh, over at bodark kikos go check him out he's got a great goat channel his channel is pretty much all about goats and it's about kiko goats um, so go check him out as a matter of fact go over there and, and uh, you guys subscribe to him if you're not subscribed to him yet he uh and pray for him he just had some surgery You'll just have to go check out his channel to, to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, go to his community page, check it out. He's a great person and his family's just, they're just great people. You guys will enjoy them. Let's go ahead and check out these dolings. Get a little bit closer to them if we can, let you look at them. Um, I just love their structure. They're still not as big as I want them uh, at this age, but I think each set of dolings I have from here on out, out, out of this bunch, will just continue to be bigger and bigger and a, a better and better program so like this these two and that tan one right there that tan one coconut and the white one those three are from megatron so that means chip will breed with those three next year and then that brown one oh I still got it mixed up so coconut this little tan one here this little white one that's megatron's girls so that means chip will breed with them next year since they're megatrons and then starlight the brown one here the cream colored one there trixie and kara are all chips offspring so that means megatron will breed with them next year So right now the boss out of all these girls out of all these little dolings is coconut she's probably the biggest one i say she's the biggest she's really 
coconut, Kara, Starlight, and that brown one over there are pretty much the same size. But coconut's got her bluff on all of them so far, so she is the dominant. Uh, she is the dominant doling over here. She's got some good coloring too. Good markings. So, as y'all see, the the water is still working out for me. I'm going to go ahead and finish water, and I had to turn it off earlier so I could talk, and you didn't have to hear the water running in the background like you are now. We did move the pails further down, um, so it stays out of the sun longer throughout the day. Um, let me show you some of the grass that we have in this area, and you'll see why I'm kind of saying by next year. Because I think next year I'm going to have, I, I could have 16 dolings. So I'm going to have to have a bigger area to separate my dolings. So this grass is still pretty good. It's not even close. Like this is where I mowed and it's already, I mean it still looks good over here too. I mean it's brown, but the height of the grass is still good. And the height over here is plenty. There's still plenty of it for them to eat over here. And then the best grass is down there by the pond. And there's, that's where you see them mostly, is over there by the pond. The reason, the reason I was wanting to make this little pin area a bigger area, or either make this entire three acres my doling pen and move it all my mamas over here to where the cows are, and make them like a four to five acre lot over there and shrink my cow lot because I plan on shrinking my cow herd eventually too, which I've only got three cows. So really what I want to do is raise just a steer or two, um, get rid of the, the mamas and just buy a steer every year. But when these next year, when these girls can be bred, I'll have these eight girls plus the 10 mamas over here so that's 18 females. If they all have twins and half of them are girls, that means there's gonna be 18 girls born. That's just what you, how you envision it. Doesn't always work out like that. This year I got lucky and had eight girls and six boys. So I actually had more girls than boys, which I wanted this year. The next couple of years, I really want more boys so I can make some of my money back, so I can recoup some of that money. And again, by improving your bucks like I have you should improve your bucklings so when you go to the auction to sell those bucklings they're heavier they are bigger they weigh more at the five month range so you'll get more per pound for your bucklings oh hopefully that makes sense what do you think Chip you getting the job done over here are they all bred already I got two over there Bottle cap and cinnamon are over there. What do you think, Chip? So this little girl right here, this mama, well, I call her a mama, but she has not been a mama yet. I was really hoping she'd have a baby this past year, but she got missed. This is York. She was with Chip. And I'm assuming he just missed her somehow because she did not ever get pregnant. She never showed. So we know she didn't have a miscarriage or anything like that. We know that she just got missed. And I'm pretty sure he's been interested in her already a few times this year. Did you get her this year, Chip? You don't act as interested in these girls as you used to be. Is your job done already? Okay, y'all, I just wanted to come out here real quick today and just shoot a quick video of, you know, why I would separate the dolings. 
when Chip's over here with the mamas in this bigger pen, why I would separate the dolings in this smaller pen, and then what my goal is with my goat herd. Um, it, it's strictly right now to improve the herd. I'm not gonna make a whole lot of money off my goats while I'm improving it. Uh, like, I'm not gonna sell any of these does. And that's how you can really recoup some of your money back is selling the does for, for breeding purposes for other, you know, other farms. Um, Cause typically, you know, a farm might buy one buck every three or four years. And if you have 12 bucks that you need to sell, good luck trying to sell them all to a farm. Unless they're registered and that's what people are looking for, a good bloodline. Uh, but none of my bucks are registered other than Chip and Megatron. So the bucklings I have, I have to take to auction or find a local that needs a buckling. Um, and I have sold over my, of course, of three years, I've sold four different bucklings to different farms. So about one a year. Um, but eventually my goal, once I've, had, I've got my herd improved, I plan on selling these dolings. And that's when, that's really when you can start recouping some of your money and start making a, a pretty decent profit as well. So when you retain all your, your dolings, you're not making that money when you're selling them, obviously. So you're not going to make a huge profit, if any. But eventually there will be a day where I sell eight dolings. And you can sell the dolings a lot easier than you can sell the bucklings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to go down and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not following us. Uh, hit any kind of notification bell you can so that you're notified when our next videos come out. We'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, do the good. At the Feller family farm Come along and ride with us Fellow.